Hi guys, I'm Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to make cheese stuffed pot fried potato balls. These are so delicious. These are kind of like a loaded potato version of the fried balls. I'm going to add some bacon, some scallions, and it's going to be so good. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing that I'm going to do is to fry off my bacon. So here I have a pan that is over a medium heat and I'm going to go ahead and add my bacon and I'm going to cook my bacon there for until it's nice and crispy maybe 8 to 10 minutes flipping it frequently after my bacon is nice and cooked I'm going to put it on a on a plate with a paper towel and let it drain all the excess fat after that I'm going to go ahead and chop it up and set it aside so here in this bowl I have some leftover mashed potato last night I make dinner with some girl steak I have I made grilled steak and mashed potatoes. This, that was heaven on earth. It was so good. So I had some, <laughs> there's some bug in here. Okay, so I was, I was like, so I have a lot of mashed potato left and I need to do something with it because I don't want to throw it away. I don't like throwing things away. And so I decided to make this, ma these potato balls. They are so good. So. Here I have my, ma my leftover mashed potato, you prepare however you like it. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add my chopped bacon, my scallions, and I'm going to mix it all together until well incorporated. After that, I'm going to take it with my hand and I'm going to form, I'm going to take a little bit. It's going to be like, you can form them in any size that you like, but make sure you don't do it too big. This is going to be like two tablespoons or so. I'm going to grab it with my hand and then I'm going to pat it like like this with my hand to fly in it out then I'm gonna put a piece of cheddar cheese in there that I cut into small into cubes then just form it up into a bowl once you finish with the potatoes Forming them, you're gonna place it into the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. In that process, you're gonna heat up your oil over medium heat until you get nice and hot. It will be like 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After that is done, here I have a bowl with some eggs that I whisk and some breadcrumbs. And the first thing I'm going to do is to dip my potato balls in the eggs. Then I'm going to dip it into the breadcrumbs and coat it really well. And then I'm going to dip it again into the egg and finally into the breadcrumb again. I'm doing double coating. I want to make sure that my potato balls remain the same while, while I'm frying them. And after that, I'm going to fry them here like for two to three minutes until they are nice and golden brown. Make sure that if the oil gets too hot, make sure that you lower it a little bit because you don't want this to get to, to the bellows. A lot of color before the cheese is melted in the inside. I can't even speak <laughs> in the inside. So after that, I'm gonna place them on a plate with a paper towel so it can drain all the excess fat. So when I made this recipe first, I was a little disappointed because I found that my cheese was not melted in the inside. And that was probably because of two factors. The cheese that I used was extra charred cheese extra extra sharp cheddar which is harder to melt because if you use mild it is it melts easily or my oil was way too hot and the and it got much color before the cheese was melted so but if that happened to you what you can do you can place it into the oven at a 400 degree Fahrenheit for five minutes until the cheese is nice and melted so there you have it guys after that just break it open you can see that delicious cheese, nice and melted. It is so delicious, guys. I really love this. My family loved it. My mom loved it too, and she was eating it with sour cream. She loves sour cream. I love sour cream, but not like, not like she does. So there you have it, guys. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe for cheese stuffed potato balls, fried potato balls. These are so delicious. Very easy to make, as you can see, with, le with leftover mashed potato. These are gorgeous and I really hope that you give this recipe a try. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, give me a thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye bye.